Welcome back to 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. We're on day 14. We are getting close to the halfway point. And I am really excited to keep on going through this section where we're just talking about the qualities that we want to see expressed in our children. Today we're going to talk about integrity. And I think to talk about integrity means talking about masks because I want to choose my words carefully because I don't want to bash the church because I love the church. Jesus founded the church. He's the creator of the church and God has given us the body of Christ. But I feel like the church with a capital C today has become a place where we feel sometimes that we have to wear masks. And it's not anything against God or Jesus or the church even. It's just as individuals, I think that we have come to feel like we have to portray a certain holiness to be accepted or to belong at church. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people are kind of turned off. And I think that's why a lot of churches have started to spring up that are appealing to people that don't fit a certain mold of what some people think Christianity should look like, you know? And um, so in that respect, I think we need to be very careful in our own lives and in the lives of our kids that we don't place a higher value on appearing holy and appearing God-like and Christ-like than we do on what's in the heart. And I'm as guilty of that as anybody else. I love the idea of my kids being obedient at church or with my friends or in a, a public setting, looking like they're well taken care of or um, like they've been trained up well, because I feel like that reflects on me. And I will confess to you that it is often more important to me that they look well behaved and they're acting polite so that people will look at me and say, wow, she's got her act together, than it is what's going on in their heart. And that's terrible. It's a terrible thing to say and admit, but it's true. So obviously deep down, I want to know what's going on in my kids' minds and in their hearts, but I'm a people pleaser. And so sometimes I encourage the mask. I encourage, hey, look like everything is fine, even when it's not. And now I'm not saying that cultivating obedience in your kids isn't beneficial. It's biblical. And I'm not the greatest at consistency and uh, discipline myself. And so there are times when my kids kind of act like they shouldn't, especially the littler ones. And... <laughs> um, and I know that that reflects poorly on my parenting sometimes, but that shouldn't be more important than what's going on in their hearts and inside of them. And sometimes I lose sight of that, particularly when I'm in public with, with my kids. Um, so all of that to say, I think that the illusion of godliness is something, or even just the illusion of having it all together can sometimes be more important than what's going on the inside. I think we need to practice being real with each other. We need to practice being real with our kids. And we need to practice um, even being real on social media. I, I kind of like this trend toward, you know, the um, just sharing struggles. There was this really cool... Um, it was like a, a Christmas letter parody where people would... Like instead of their actual Christmas letter, they would talk about some of the bad stuff and some of the not so pretty stuff that went on in their homes that year. Or um, like one friend sent a picture of everybody like, you know, the kids looking off in one direction or um, like closing their eyes on purpose to make it look funny. And, um, and I thought that was neat because it just kind of breaks the ice so that we can start to have that conversation of what's real and what's not. And, and social media brings up the fact that integrity is doing the same thing when no one's watching as you would when they are watching. I still remember one of my kids came home from kindergarten and said, integrity means acting the same when no one's watching as you would if they were watching. Um, 
And I think that's just a good way to, to break it down. So our prayer for our kids is that they would be acting the same with the same level of character, with the same scruples and, and integrity that they, that they show when some people are watching as they would be when nobody's watching. And that's hard. It's hard for all of us. So, um, yeah, let's, let's definitely pray for that and just ask God to be convicting them when that's not the case and ask God to help us to be a model of that in whatever way we can. And I think that just doesn't mean being perfect all the time. It means acknowledging to our kids when we struggle or when we mess up and not just putting a mask on all the time, like everything is great. Um, so yeah, let's pray. God, we know that someone is always watching. You are always watching. You're always with us. But it's so easy to forget that because you're invisible. We just pray for our children that you would give them a heightened sense of awareness of your presence. That you would not be this tyrant looming over them ready to smack them on the knuckles when they mess up. But that you would be just a welcoming loving, warm blanket around them, reminding them that they are loved and that who they are inside can be the way that they are outside. They don't have to put on a show. God, we pray that they would have integrity um, in their relationships. We pray that they would have integrity in their school or place of work. We pray that they would have integrity in their conversations. God, we just pray that they would have integrity in every facet of their lives. Lord, that on social media, that they would portray um, a positive image of godliness without being fake. Lord, we pray that they would be good influences on people around them, not that they would be put on a pedestal, but that they would be seen as being real as being real, relatable people that would be leaders, that would do the right thing even when it's hard, who would stand up for truth without being judgy, and that they would have that temperance to their spirit and, and that everything they do would be tempered in love. God, we just thank you that you provide a way for us to walk in integrity because we know that while we were still sinners, while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you for that, God. That gives us so much freedom to be who we are and acknowledge our warts and our shining moments all the same. God, we just pray over our children, that you would just allow them to be people of integrity, that they would be the same inside and out, no matter who's watching and who isn't. In Jesus' name, amen.